Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Crucible Chat. Yes, it's Saturday. It's that time of the week where I get to talk about whatever the fuck it is I want. My name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts. And in the background, as you can see, I've got some footage from the Doom Beta. And let me tell you, it's fucking good. It feels like those shooters that I grew up with, like the original Doom or Unreal Tournament, stuff like that, where it's just fast and frenetic, and violent, and brilliant. But Doom isn't what I want to talk to you about today. No, no, what I want to talk about is Alison Rap. Now, if you didn't know about this one, this one's been waging on for a few months. Alison Rapp is a former Nintendo employee who has been the target of possibly some of the worst side of kind of the gaming internet community for the past few months. And, well, this week Nintendo fired her. Now, a bit of backstory in this one. She worked for Nintendo Treehouse, who does localization for the Japanese games Nintendo releases and like that team translates them for like Europe and America you know basically takes the Japanese text puts it into English that kind of thing and they also alter a few other things as they go on now she worked in marketing and there was a hell of a thing kicked off last year when uh, the Western releases of I think it was Xenobra Xenoblade Chronicles X and Fire Emblem's Fates were censored in the West. There were a few changes made to them, with no explanation from Nintendo, but basically what happened was there were a few changes made which basically toned down the sexualization of teenage girls. And for some reason, people kicked the fuck off because they weren't getting the same product that was released in Japan. I have issues with that in general, so I'm trying to think of my words here. But I'll get onto that. So anyway, Alison Rapp was targeted because on her Twitter she like is a she is a bit of a social justice warrior, she is a bit of a well, she is a feminist. She's also a massive fan of Nintendo and happens to work for the localization team. However, she does nothing with localization. She doesn't actually make any decisions. She is in the marketing department. So she's the one like contacting the press and sending out like demos and posters and pictures and that kind of thing, you know, to be included in news stories. But the <laughs> the fucktards that have been harassing her just basically saw her as this kind of bogeyman because she has a history of saying feminist things on Twitter, despite the fact she also has a massive history as a fan of Nintendo. But they kicked off with her, and they've been sending her the most horrendous bile over Twitter and Facebook and that kind of thing in email. Calling her every name under the sun, telling her to get cancer and to die and shit like that. Even to the point where they found out where she worked, like specifically where she worked. And email addresses of like her boss, her boss's boss, and like the hierarchy up in Nintendo. And started emailing them, telling them to fire her because of this awful thing that she's done to... Xenoblade Chronicles and Fire Emblem Fates. And it's all for fucking nothing. Now, this week Nintendo fired her. Nintendo didn't. Well, Nintendo tried to come out and say it wasn't to do with the harassment, but the statement that they put out was all bullshit. We know it was to do with. Everyone in the world knows that it was to do with that. And the thing is, and the most ridiculous thing is, Alison Rapp was. Well, is a Nintendo fan, and working for Nintendo was her dream job. And Nintendo hung her out to dry because Nintendo didn't step in at any point. N Nintendo didn't release any statements kind of explaining why the changes were made. They just let her take the abuse. And fortunately, I mean, she took it with fairly good humour, from what I've seen. She even published some of the worst stuff that she got on a blog. And it was quite horrific reading, actually, to be fair. Credit to the girl, because she managed to weather the storm with the utmost of dignity. But... The issue I've got is here, she did nothing wrong, she didn't do anything. A lot of what the arguments that the mob mentality was hanging on was the fact that she, I think it was for a thesis for a university degree, it's on our LinkedIn if you look at it, she wrote this essay about how Japanese media sexualizes teenagers and young girls. And they kind of jumped on that. They took like this title and they oh my god, she condones paedophilia and shit like that. And it's like, no, she fucking doesn't. Because I can guarantee you, everyone who said that hasn't read the fucking essay. I've skimmed through the essay. I didn't think. I didn't want to read the whole thing, but I've skimmed through to get the main points. And basically, what she was saying was the Japanese culture is different to American culture. And it is. And where 
in Japan, they do find it acceptable to sexualize to that degree. That's not acceptable in the US, but the US has no right to tell Japan how their culture should be. And basically, they should just let the Japanese culture be the Japanese culture, as it were. That's very much simplifying the argument that she made, but that's the point that she was trying to make. But the idiots who've been campaigning to get her sacked and seem to have succeeded were just jumping on saying, that, oh yeah, she condones paedophilia and shit like that, and then all of a sudden she's like taken out this... <laughs> One of the things that was taken out was Xenoblade Chronicles X. In the character creation, like the girls are all kind of teenagers, and there was a there was a slider where you could change the size of their boobs. That was <laughs> that was it. And to be fair, it's a fairly innocuous thing to take out. Understand why it's taken out for the Western release, but it's not something to get your fucking panties in a bunch about. But Nintendo let her hang out to dry and then sacked her. And that's just fucking not on. I mean, what the fuck, Nintendo? What are you playing at here? This is a this is a, a woman who. Was a hu- is a huge fan of Nintendo and has been a fan of Nintendo since she was a child. And working for them was her dream. It was a dream job to work for Nintendo in some capacity. And she's been sacked because one, the company couldn't handle the bad press that was coming her way for, through no fault of her own. In fact, it was probably for, due to the fault of other Nintendo employees for deciding to make those changes. And two... The fucking neckbeards who have come, who have waged this war against her. I mean, what the fuck is the point? It all people kick off like this, all because it comes down to sex, all because it comes down to oh my waifu doesn't look how I like it. Fuck off! You have ruined someone's life. You have taken away somebody's dream just because a company decided to remove one little thing out of a game or to desexualize fucking children. I mean, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I don't get it. I don't get why anyone feels the right to claim someone should be sacked from their job when they haven't done anything wrong. But this is fucking mob mentality on the internet for you. This is just how it builds. And it builds and it snowballs and no one gets the right fucking end of the stick. And it's, it's resulted in someone's life being changed for, for the worse. I feel heartily sorry for Alison Rapp. I applaud her for the way she's handled herself because she's done very well in not letting it get to her, or at least not publicly letting it get to her. But she... Her life has been changed because some fucking idiots who live in their mother's basement wanted to see a slightly more sexualized version of a cartoon teenager. I mean, come on. One, there's enough fucking porn out there to keep you happy with that. Two, it's a fucking game. Who cares if you if you can't change the size of your character's fucking tits? I mean, seriously, play the fucking game. Enjoy the game for what it is. Because by all accounts, and I haven't played it yet, I do intend to get it at some point, but Xenoblade Chronicles X is a fantastic game. Why why is this such a fucking sticking point for a very, albeit small, but vocal group of people? Why are they telling this person to get cancer who has done nothing wrong? She was just doing her job in the, in the respect of she was marketing it a game. She was marketing a game that was released in Japan in one way and it was slightly tweaked to when it was released in the States. It beggars belief how some people's minds work, honestly. It's gotten me so... The more I've read about this, I've been following this story for a little while as it's kind of been building up and building up. And obviously it came to a head this week. But I just don't... I don't understand the mindset. Like most of the stuff I talk about on Crucible Chat, I can kind of... I can see both sides of the argument. I'll have my opinion, which I'll rattle off to use. But I can see both sides of an argument, or I can see, at least see the flip side of the coin. There is no fucking flip side to this coin. Nintendo are in the wrong. The people waging this war are in the wrong. Alison Rapp is just an innocent bystander who's been caught in the crossfire and has ultimately paid a price for it. Paid a price for other people's prejudices and issues. You know what the worst thing is? For all the people who've come out since she's been sacked to say this is a horrible thing, it'll not get her a job back. She'll have to find something else to do with her life. Which I'm sure she's perfectly capable of doing, but she shouldn't be put in this position in the first place. <sighs> oh, I feel better for that little rant now. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this one. Like I say, this one's had me really fucking steamed all week. Um, 
If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe, and come back next week for some more Crucible chat, where you never know, I might have a non-ranty one for you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and good night. <laughs>